Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about Stuart Immonen, an inspiring artist worth studying. Hi, my name is Lisa Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So, as I've said before, there are two ways to look at an amazing artist's work. The negative way and the positive way. The negative way being, oh, I don't want to look at his art because it depresses me and it makes me not want to draw anymore because I'll never be as good as that person. That is the worst way you can look at anybody's artwork. The best way, the most positive way to look at it is, wow, this person is amazing. That's where I want to be someday. I'm going to look at his work, see how he does what he does so I, I can improve and become better, a, a better artist because he exists, because I could look at his work, because I could study it, because I could copy it, because I could figure out how he does what he does to so make me a better artist. So that's what we're going to be looking, how we're uh, going to be approaching everybody that I'm going to be talking about. And today I'm going to be talking about Stuart Eminem who, oh my gosh, I love his work. And I'm going to explain to you why I do and uh, what to look at and how to look at his work to get really pumped up and excited and what to try to steal from him and all this other stuff. Okay, so let's get started. So Stuart Eminem is a, uh, currently, at the time of this recording, uh, he works at Marvel Comics, but he also has done his own comics and things like that. But he's a comic book artist. And uh, as you can see, you know, here we have a, a, a drawing of Spider-Man. But just right away, you can, you can tell that his work is, um, in a lot of ways, within the comic book genre, his comic book art is a little bit more of a universal look to it. Uh, but, but his draftsmanship is such, and his uh, design... Um, the way that he silhouettes and designs is really what we're going to really be looking at. So here, uh, besides the fact that right here we've got a very solid looking Spider-Man, um, I think part of the, the reason why it looks so solid is because of the coloring. Uh, I kind of wish it was in black and white so we could actually see the drawing without all the, f all the flashiness of the color. But you will see even in this drawing that Stuart Eminem's um, exterior line work makes a very clear graphic shape that um, emphasizes the clarity of the drawing that is being done. Let's take a look at some other work. So here we have, again, the clarity of the... So actually, let me look at this one. See how this silhouette of this character, his shapes are extremely clear. Like this all, if it was all in black, you would, you could tell what this is. On top of that, we've got a very graphic, very uh, interesting way of, uh, of breaking up the masses and the shapes within the figure while still, uh, having uh, solidity and, exp and and the details explaining the direction the forms are going. On top of that, uh, Stuart Eminem has a, an amazing ability of drawing very solid, very concrete heads and faces. You can see here the way that the, the face is constructed. It's very, very clear. Uh, one of the things that is amazing the way that he does it is is the um the way that he lights a figure um he has an a really fantastic uh way of of um graphically representing shadow shadow shapes uh in a way that is both um beautiful to look at while still being anatomically sound and and so the just the the way that he designs the shadow shapes um is both describing the actual muscle masses the way they are but also uh uh 
creating a very, very interesting graphical shapes and gra interesting graphical designs. So one of the th one of the things that I admire about his work is its graphic nature. And again, see, we've got really solid silhouettes of the characters uh, to the point where uh, he tends to emphasize uh, with a with a um, a type of dead line. Um, the masses of his figures. Here's an here's an example of what I mean. If just look at the way that he that this line explains this exterior line explains the entirety of this drawing. So this is a very pleasing graphic shape. And within that very pleasing graphic shape, there are other very pleasing graphic shapes. And they don't have to be super detailed. At this point, he just has to kind of kind of um, accent it a little bit. And then here with the face, we've got a very simple but very clear uh, drawing of 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 how this head is actually tilted up. Um, it, it's a mastery of head structure and head construction. And here's a close-up of the same character. And as you can see, look at the, look at the, at this drawing. And again, uh, part of it is the color. I think um, it, I, I, it's, kind of doing me a disservice talking about his work when you when the color is actually uh, pushing the ideas here that that Stuart Immerman was is trying to do but here's uh, I'm gonna try to just stick to what you could see linearly this line here these these lines here represent a graphic plane that's coming up here on this edge of the eye for example here we've got the roundness of the eye coming coming through and then the color artist kind of reinforced it but we've got this coming through we've got the thickness of the eye notice that there's a here we have the the um, iris and then we have a white line here representing the thickness of the eye and here on um, this line here represents where the where the eyelid touches the ball of the eye we have a clear tear duct here we have the lashes and the lashes come out from the other side of the thickness of the eye here we have these lashes we don't get we don't see the thickness of this eye here we have these this line here and this actually emphasizes the uh, the eye socket coming in here here we have these lines here representing the, the, the side plane of the head. Right here, this side plane is, he just boom, 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 here it is. The, the direction of the, of the nostril plane coming in here. The direction of the lips, the lip plane coming in here. Again, on this eye, once again, he went out of his way to show you that there's a thickness to the eye and then the eyelids come out of here and once again, the eye la the eyelid wrapping around it's it's a thing of beauty it's it's fantastic not to mention how beautiful this hand is and it's represented in a very graphic way i mean look he didn't in, in fact he didn't even like connect these two fingers at all there's like no line in between them and um it's such a gra interesting graphic representation of this very very solid hand because you can see that this line here is this uh, phalange right here and then and then we've got this this right here this line here representing this phalange right here and then this and it's going away from us in space and the whole entire thing is just represented with boom and they're like in inverted lines they're not just straight they're slightly inverted boom 
boom, boom. And then we've got, and it looks like it's moving back in space. Even if it wasn't colored, it would still look that way. And it's not even connected. So we've got a lost edge here. And it just makes it so that the, the, uh, the, the audience just looks at it and then just fills in the blank. Oh, man, it's such a good drawing. Such a good drawing. Here's a here's a drawing from an X Men comic, and uh, one of the things that I find extremely beautiful and valuable about this is the way that he breaks up the blacks. So we've got an emphasis of here is kind of like a framing element, like the blacks. This is where you're not supposed to look to emphasize the white space, the areas where there is light and so that it draws the eye to come into here and this is where the highest point of contrast is so that here there's like all this detail here, all this detail here is all mid-tone to this very bright white contrasty area. And here we, we can look very closely at the way that this guy is silhouetted in here like, look how beautiful the silhouette, the graphic exteriors are, so that when you look at the interiors, they just read very well. So we're just kind of looking at these graphic shapes as silhouettes. Boom, this silhouette is amazing. And he kind of puts a dead line all around all of it, almost like to highlight it. It's like a highlight of what he's going to put inside. Uh, same here, same thing here. He's silhouetting this almost like a highlight so that when all this detail inside is, 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 is fantastic and beautiful and very graphic, but part of the reason why it reads is because there, there's this, it's, it's enveloped within this graphic design. Uh, same thing here, like uh, through all everything that I'm talking about here, you, you're, that's going to be the emphasis is is um, is this silhouetted graphic design. And uh, in, in, in the case of this drawing, a lot of this is lost. It's a lost edge. Like there's like a lot of lost edges here. And the design here is especially like here with the face, notice that there's this, this, uh, see, notice how I have like a lumpy nose shape here and then there's the nostrils and stuff like that. Here it is. See this line right here? That represents that there's this shape here. If you look at if you if you if you study somebody like Bridgman, you, you're going to learn that because he emphasizes these shapes on the front of the nose in differentiating it from the nostrils. And when you draw them in here and represent it with shadow shapes, it's this beautiful, you could come up with these beautiful designs for the shadow shapes. And, and look at this beauty, like, like here, this, and then it combines into this cast shadow from the nose and then it connects to the cast shadow of the lip from above. And then here's this slight little pop. Like this, uh, these lines represent a soft edge, a soft transition between the, the, um, this corner of the mouth into the muscle. And we've got all these hard edges here, but then there's softened also in here. And so there's a combination of soft edges and hard edges to emphasize and uh, and and design the these amazingly beautiful shadow shapes. It's amazing. And here we've got this hand again, lost edges with the fingers, uh, just implying the connection of these of these of these fingers together. It's it just makes for a beautiful looking uh, design. Here we have a great amazing beautiful silhouette there is no detail in here it's all just beautiful shape the beautiful shapes and notice that they are they are um these arm shapes aren't uh, uh symmetrical 
They aren't football muscles. They are flowing muscles that 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 go into and out of each other. So this bump here isn't reflected up here. It's slightly straighter, and then it goes out. This goes into this. That goes into this. This goes into this one. That one goes into that one. It's very subtle, very beautiful. Once again, very graphic representations of both these characters. The silhouettes, the spacing in between both of them is great. And then you could add these beautiful graphic uh, designed shadow shapes. And these types of shadow shapes that he's putting in, they're the kind of shadow shapes that you um, understand and begin to use yourself when you do enough life drawing and you start looking at the type of shadow shapes the body makes when hit by certain amount of certain light. Uh, here we have a pencil drawing, and I think there's an ink version of this pencil drawing, but you could see the actual pencil line here and how he's thinking about these things. So these X's here represent black. This is all going to be black. Uh, it's just that he's not going to bother putting all the black in. But all of this is black. So what he's actually emphasizing here whenever he actually does this um, the actual black black blacks in the black is uh, is is the the edges he he's he's um he's representing uh, the type of edge he's going to use whether it's a firm edge a soft edge or a hard edge he's going to emphasize it here so this is a, a firm edge here uh, we've got some firm edges here we got a soft edge here and then the rest is going to be black. Here, this line here, this is a hard edge, so it's just straight up. There is no, uh, there is no feathering. See how he emphasizes? He he's doing this graphic representation of this shadow shape here. So he's thinking about these things, in 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 um, in the, in a design graphical way. Uh, so here we have this character and his, see how it's, he he's designing the light shape and in contrast to the, to the, to the, what will eventually be black. But he's making a note of making this a graphic, interesting sh white shape on that alien. Notice the silhouette of of uh, Iceman over here, and we've got a very it, it, there's very very little detail on this character, but how clear is this pose? It's fantastic and silhouetted. All of these characters are silhouetted against each other, um, and the the reason it reads so well is because the, of two things. One. Uh, the silhouette, of course, and 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 two, uh, the one of the things that I really really like is his choice of body shapes. So notice that not it, it, that the that all the men have and uh, and the women all have slightly different body types. So for example, we've got Colossus over here who's got a very wide, thick body type, similar to. Uh, the beast over here while he has a slightly narrower body type with slightly narrower legs but look at this arm and here's what i this is one of the things that i want to point out about Stuart immerman uh, that we haven't done yet and that is this arm has a straight line all the way down and then this is a, a slightly more complex side so uh if you remember bruce tim in in the uh, the Batman animated series from the nineties, um, he he his the Batman used to have like a B shaped arm, like it looked like a B, uh, like the letter B, uh, where where we just have one straight line and then uh, and then two bumps to represent the upper arm and then the muscles of the bot of the lower arm uh, of the uh, of the yeah the lower arm. So 
Uh, mm -hmm. Stuart Eminem is doing something very similar to that in making this a straight line. And then instead of just doing the B shape, he breaks this down into one shape, tricep muscle, and then the lower arm, the 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 um, the upper arm here. I mean, I, I, I should say. Um, and and the, the forearm, excuse me. And so we've got the forearm here, and it's only one shape, boom. And then we've got this two shape. And so it's simple versus more complex. And really what sells this, what, what makes it beautiful is the, sh the graphic shapes that he's put here. And, and then inside here, there's this beautiful amount of graphic beauty, uh, graphically pleasing and beautiful uh, shadow shape design. And you can't, you could only get this kind of beautiful graphic shadow shape design if you've been doing a lot of life drawing and have seen how light it falls upon muscle groups. And then you're able, you could design muscle groups, muscle group shadow shapes from memory if you have done enough study of actual muscle group, how, how shadows actually fall in real muscle groups. And then you could come up with beautiful graphic designs for those kinds of things. Um, again, look at this, look at these, look at this uh, stomach and the way that all the the muscles really are emphasized and fit together. And again, here's this beautiful silhouette, and then here's another beautiful silhouette, and another beautiful silhouette. All of these things are like self-contained graphic shapes on top of other graphic shapes. So the clarity is there. Here we have the emphasis on the light here, and then there's the 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 most uh, contrasting area is right here, and then everything else is a frame, framing device. It's all about graphics. Again, just a beautiful graphic drawing, very graphic here too. And I just love these faces, like these, his faces are just so good. Look at this very solid, well-drawn head Look at this amazing, solid, well-drawn head. And here, his, his women tend to have a very similar look to them. They tend to have like this cat face, but uh, very beautiful graphic. Look at the the ah. See, this is the type of hair that I really like, and I just can't, I just don't even understand where to even begin doing these sort of things. I would have to like copy a ton of just this type of hair because... Look how beautiful and lyrical this hair is. Here's a, a, a pencil drawing. Again, uh, very simple graphic design. And then we have this beautiful silhouetted shape again beautiful silhouetted shape it's unmistakable what's happening here and then we have this fantastic graphically designed head shadow that just emphasizes the solidity while still uh being beautiful and here we have you you could see that he kind of worked out the eyes and all this other stuff but it's meant to be all in shadow so that he it it, it creates this graphic clarity when it comes to what's actually in light here and then we've got the the um the edges explained here we have this great beautiful shadow shape and then boom 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 a couple of lines here explaining how the how they it's soft it, it, the these blacks go into softness and here is the under the shadow of the underside of the eyelid, oh, so beautiful. And then boom, 
couple of lines here to explain that it's it's a, it's, it's turning it's it's a it's a it's a firm edge and then he turns back around here we have this shadow shape explaining this muscle here look see how uh, it's right there that that muscle crinkle it's right there it's beautiful and then this guy he's just a master of both anatomy observation and shadow shadow and design And he, because, and he does likenesses really well too. So look at how this is likeness. How, how difficult it is to do a likeness. And look how simple, with a handful of very simple lines, this looks like Harrison Ford. I, I, it, it's unmistakably Harrison Ford. There are so many people out there that are, that, that do like Star Wars type are. Uh, work where where you're trying to capture likenesses that are like over rendering the snot out of these faces to try to make it look and capture the likeness of the actors Stuart Eminem does does it in like the minimum of lines and it's and it totally looks like Harrison Ford I mean it's ridiculous and look this looks like Harry Gary Fisher right oh my gosh like it's so good and again, even this far shot, it totally works. Why? Because the graphics, this graphic silhouette of all of these poses are absolutely clear. And here again, look how graphic and clear this pose is. And look how simple that is. And then here again, more simple. And then boom, 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 just slight emphasis, slight emphasis that there's wrinkles here. It, it, it's not overly overwrought, over detailed. It's it, it's just right, just clear enough. Here we have the, we actually have a literal silhouette here, uh, just to emphasize this graphic, beautiful design. And then we've got again more graphic, beautiful designs, two of them, emphasizing here. And then we've got another beautiful Harrison Ford close up. Oh, it's just. This guy's just too good. A Mark Hamill looking totally Mark Hamill. Uh, yeah, this is, but the, I think part of what makes this work is the coloring as well. Unfortunately, there's no black and white version of this. Otherwise, we would probably uh, um, have the, uh, be able to see that there's, there, that, that, that everything was already there without having the color be there. But you can sort of see that that Stuart Eminem just did do some of these planes of the face. But the whoever colored this really understood um, head construction because every single bit of coloring in here emphasizes the planes of the head where they fit. Uh, here we have another Stuart Eminem. I, I'm just going to keep saying the same thing over and over with all of these things. Here we have a sketch, and it looks like this. He um, added some marker uh, planes himself. So, so here we have him emphasizing these graphic planes. So we've got this muscle coming down here. Let me see if I could. Yeah, if you if you look, see see the muscles that are right here on the mouth, and so you can see them right there, right. So even if he was like using a photo when he was doing that, he went out of his way to emphasize certain parts of the face or the body, and this eye couldn't be any more solid. I mean, geez. And then we've got this. So notice that right here. In between here, the bottom of the iris, and then here, this shadow shape of this front part of the eyelid, um, we have a gap representing the thickness of the eyelid. And it happens here again. And then we have these uh, marker uh, values that are emphasizing the planes of the face coming in and down. It's like, it's, 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 it's uh, solidifying that for the audience so it's unmistakable these 
are here. These are these are graphic chiseled parts of the face. Oh, and here's this uh, ink, the the pencil drawing inked. So now we get to see. So let's take a look and see how now we you could see that there's a here. This is the graphic shape of this light. Uh, remember that all this was a hard edged for the jacket and then boom, boom, boom. Here's a couple little soft edges to emphasize the the, the softness of, of some of the turning of the of, of, of the of the figure here. This was all, remember, there was X's on everything. And now we get to see why this was it's meant to be all black so that all your eye just goes straight to this light source here. And then we have a lot of very subtle explanation of the planes of the head, but, it, but very subtle and it's, it's not overly done so that you can see that there is anatomy here that's meant to be anatomy here. And then this, I think these lines were, are, are meant to be a, a type of color in here. But yeah, so it, it's in, in this here, this exterior graphic shape really helps envelope this character. Again, there's an envelope of beautiful graphic shape in front of uh, on this guy so that all this interior graphic design of the shadow shapes really works her silhouette is is almost com she is completely silhouette she's almost completely silhouetted in white very very minimal amount of design of, of, uh, of detail and as the characters get a little bit further there is also a little bit less detail i mean there's all kinds of textures on his clothes but um that face is very la lacking in detail this character is almost a black silhouette and then this character over here uh is all one graphic uh design he's just enveloped in this graphic design uh, same thing with this massive thing um, to the point where uh, you can see that there's a graphic design here and then even the interior uh, textured um, lighting doesn't even touch some of this exterior um, graphic design here and it's and it's silhouetted here so that you can it, it almost emphasizes that and, and the reason why this is this part here is white is so that it doesn't obstruct this clear silhouette. This clear silhouette is here so that you could actually see it. So this white area here, and, uh, and which is meant to be like reflected light coming from below on the ground, lighting this brightly, um, is actually here as a cheat in order so that we can actually, so we could see uh, Luke Skywalker over here. Um, and it's, it's darkened in here so that we can, uh, it silhouettes and enhances both uh, R2 and, and uh, Luke. And again, this is a really beautiful graphic. Look, like, like the, the, it's such a silhouetted graphic shape that the details don't even go all, don't even touch this graphic shape. Like the, the, the shadows don't even touch it, and implying that there is a um, a highlight uh, around that area. So there is light highlighting this area here. But in, in re but it is in here too. It, they don't, this shadow doesn't actually touch the edge here. So it really emphasizes this beautiful silhouette. So I could keep going on and on on this guy, man. Like she's, she's just so good. Look at look how simple this drawing is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, so this, I mean, it's just graphic, 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 and then there's just enough little bits of detail in here to really sell these likenesses. I mean, it's so good. Very simple. Very beautiful. 
Um, this is a little bit more involved. This looks like a li uh, there's there's a little bit more um, rendering in here, a little bit more emphasis in in the anatomy. But again, uh, look at these beautiful eyes, showing the thickness of the eyes, showing how the tear duct and all these uh, elements of the face, these planes of the face, the 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 um, eye socket comes in and out here and this emphasizes the bottom plane of the bottom of the eyelid I mean there is so much subtle beautiful work here it's absolutely worth studying it's absolutely worth copying trying to understand how he does what he does beautiful silhouetted graphic shapes uh, we saw this one already and that's it um, so where can you see his work? Well, online, obviously, you can look at his stuff. You could find his work in, in comics like this. Uh, I highly recommend picking up some of these comics, anything that has Stuart Immonen Emin, in, in, in it. Uh, this particular X-Men storyline is really awful, so don't worry about having to read this thing. Uh, but it's got beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, there, he, he did Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, and, and though that work is amazing as well, um, I highly recommend it. I don't have any physical copies of those things. I have them all digital. Uh, but um, highly recommend um, anything that, of his work. And here's, and I'm going to link to as many uh, Stuart Eminem uh, products as I can in the description of this video so that you can um, get a look at, at, uh, at uh, his work. I have this book. This is um, the second one of his books, uh, our art of books, uh, that he uh, published for himself. And then you get to see his sketching, his drawing, uh, his cartooning, uh, his versatility as an artist. He doesn't just have one particular style. He experiments with lots of different types of looks. Uh, he's ex he, he is extremely, extremely versatile. Uh, he uh, is is just a, an amazing, amazing draftsman, an amazing designer. Uh, like I said, look at these, look at this, these silhouettes over here, and how clear and clean they are. He can go from very representational to very cartoony. To uh, and 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 so I I love looking at his his art of books because he. You could see him experimenting. You could see him drawing from life, uh, using different tools to do the work. Um, it's amazing. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to link to uh, uh, a, uh, where you could purchase this, this book. Again, in the description of this video. But uh, Stuart Eminem, absolutely one of uh, an amazing artist worth studying worth uh, copying, worth trying to wrap your head around and understanding. And uh, I just love his work. I just get so excited when I look at it and it just makes me so happy. And I'm like, oh, it's so good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so good. So um, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye.